What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Script Election. Here, bring you a video on School It Grow. And they're doing amazing, but I can show you better than I can tell you. But I will tell you this their trading volume is going up and it's gone up 12% in the last 24 hours. Let, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you. Let's look at these numbers, all right? All right. So we're looking at these Squid Grow numbers, right? They have a trading volume of 3.95 million. But before recording this video, before recording, the trading volume was uh, was above 4 million. It was at 4.1 million. So it's just being updated, right? It's just being updated. And while it's the the price is dropping, the trading volume still up with the market cap of crypto going slightly up but most importantly the trading volume of crypto going up as well so this is further proving my theory that squid grow is fine that squid grow is fine because the trading volume is going up people are still interested in squid grow even though the price is going down which is what we want that is specifically what we want for squid grow now like i stated Squid Grow, according, according, I said equating, according to PooCoin, is actually at 86, right? Eight zeros, eight six, which is good. It is good, and that is better than what it is on Coin Market Cap. But what I want to make sure that people are taking note of is that Squid Grow is moving. Squid Grow is having massive volume, and you can see that green uptick candle. That's a $65,000 trading period within 30 minutes. So that's beautiful, beautiful. And then you go and look at how many holders Squid Grow has, and it's 12,341 holders. It's still growing in a bear market, in a bear, severely bear market which people forget when they're doing their analysis on crypto right now. You can't just say, what's the price at? You've got to look at the trading volume. You've got to look at the holders. You've got to look at the intangibles. Intangible, intangibles being the team, trading volume, and how that specific market is doing as a whole. you got to compare when it, you're looking at cryptos, you got to compare it to the market itself. You can't compare it to all the other cryptos, right? You've got to compare it to the market in the industry that it's in, okay? You can't, I can't stress that enough. You can't compare it to other cryptos, all of the, all the other cryptos, all right? You can't compare Axie Infinity to Evergrow Coin. You can't compare Axie Infinity to Squid Grow. Why? Because Axie Infinity is in the gaming industry, by the way. You guys need to learn more about the gaming industry. It's actually the biggest industry in all of crypto. I did a video on that. Go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Or here's a time card right over there, I believe. Or it's over there. Oh, it might be over there. Yes, yeah, over there. Go check that video out. The back to the video at hand. We're going to come over to CoinMarketCap. And I want you guys to see the breakdown of trading volume throughout all the platforms, right? According to Coin Market Cap, which is actually a good spot to get all your data from, we have four hundred fifty thousand dollars coming from Gate.io, which is amazing. And we also have some great news coming out with Gate.io that I'll let you know about in this said video. We have MEXC delivering almost six hundred thousand dollars in trading volume. Elbrain bringing one hundred twenty thousand. Guys. To put it all into just quick terms, we're having over $100,000 in trading volume on every exchange we're listed on except Decoin, and Decoin is providing $0. But that's still amazing because we have 10, ex we're listed on 10 exchanges, and all of them are at least, at least providing $100,000 in trading volume, and two of them are providing below $200,000. The rest of them pro provide over $200,000, and only two of them provide $200,000. The other ones provide over 300000 which means six exchanges are providing over $300,000 in trading volume to Squid Grow. And we only have 12,000 holders. Think about that. In a bear market, we have 12,000 holders, and we are have seeing over three, uh, th over $300,000 in trading volume on six different exchanges. And this token is just a startup. This token is just a startup in a bear market. 
amazing, amazing, amazing. But what is the news that I'm holding from y'all and I've been holding from y'all? Ooh, sorry about that. This entire video. Well, as you can see, Gate.io is providing flexible staking. It's providing flexible staking actually starting today in the form of Squid Grow. You can now stake your Squid Grow with Gate.io. So that's going to generate even more volume on Gate.io. Well, gosh, I cannot speak. But I am happy about all this progress that Squid Grow is making. Because now you don't have to just go to the platform to stake Squid Grow. Now you're offering Squid Grow staking capabilities and offerings to other exchanges, to other clientele, increasing your clientele. This is amazing. This is great marketing. It's subtle marketing because while it looks like you're just providing a feature of Squid Grow to other people or to an exchange with an exchange, you're actually improving the the efficiency and the the adoptance of squid grow of your token on another exchange this is this is great that's i love it i love it i love it i love it like i've stated before squid grow is doing great things being listed on 11 exchanges is absolutely amazing it's game changing and at the end of the and at the end of the day it's playing the long game which is setting yourself up for success, your future self up for success, so that when the bull market comes, when everything's going right, it's going so right that it makes other people's rights look subpar. That's what they're doing right now. That's what Squid Grow is doing right now. They're setting themselves up for future success. That future success is going to take a while, though, because I've done some math of how long the last crypto bear market periods lasted okay you won't see the previous part because i cut it out but i said something wrong the last bear market we was in lasted 124 days right it lasted 124 days the next bull the, la the bear market before that lasted lasted crypto 224 days so more than half a year that one was from january 10th to October 25th, right? And the bear market, I said, I stated in my uh, analysis and in my my uh, my data analytics phase that data research phase, my fault, that our bear market started in May, May 11th, I believe is when I said the bear market started, and that places us on day 113 or 14. It's day 111, uh, 110 something, right? 110 and then an extra death, uh, extra number. So we could be finding ourselves at the end or we could be finding ourselves at the middle of this bear market and how long it'll last. That's unknown. But the best thing cryptos can do and what crypto teams can do is really about the teams. What the teams can do is set the token up for success. Set the token up for future success. All right. Play to potential. Play to potential. And just set things up so that when that next bull market comes and everybody's talking about crypto, all the celebrities are looking for that next big crypto. It's good growth right there. Or that to your to favorite token is right there for the taking. And I believe Squid Grow is going to do great things. They're already doing great things. They're already doing great things. Satoshi, their current CEO, is pushing the token to an uh, to absurd standards. He's pushing it for absurd standards. And when I say absurd, I mean crazy standards that are just ridiculous that he doesn't have to do, but he's doing it. And he has the money to do it, though. To pay $600,000 out of his pockets for the Gate.io listing. He, he's he's going to do what it, what needs to be done, it seems. From what I've seen, he's doing what needs to be done. And who knows who else he's holding? Because you could say he's not making any money right now. But what if he's in a token like Seifu, Titano, just another APY token, just another APY token, just a lot of APY tokens. But I say that because then he's not really seeing too many losses. His money is actually growing in, like, is growing uh, repeatedly. And... He's just he's just making money still at the same time as losing money. So he's good. 
the auto staking the auto staking features are actually doing what they're doing what they need to do so his net worth may not have dropped but that's research that i also need to do make sure you subscribe to the channel so you know when i upload this is scripted legends signing out y'all have a blessed one stay safe i gotta get back to doing this research <laughs> i want to do some more research on script girl because i love it i love the future and more and more i deep dive into the script girl i learned some amazing things that i just want to share with y'all y'all have a blessed one stay safe peace